And most likely, I would let u equal to this to see what will happen first. So let me just write that down for you guys. Take u to be secant x plus tangent x, and then differentiate both sides real quick. We get the derivative of that, which is secant x times tangent x plus secant squared x dx like this. And right here, also we can factor our secant x, but let me not do that. Because I noticed that we have a secant squared x on the top. So if I can invite this term to be on top as well, this integral will be very easy. And let's make that happen. So let me just write this down right here for you guys. We have the integral. And this right here is the original secant squared x. And as I said, I would like to invite this term to help us out. So let me just add secant x tangent x. And in fact, I feel like this is kind of doing the integral for just the secant to the first power x. Similar style, right? You'll see. Anyway, when I add this, of course I change the whole thing, so be sure I will have to subtract that, right? But let's think about it real quick. This over the original denominator is going to be really easy because we can just do that by u sub. Imagine if I have another integral that's only minus secant x times tangent x over this denominator. It's not going to be so easy. I don't have a lot of things to work with. So what I will do is the following. I will minus the secant x tangent x. I will have to do that so that this and that will cancel out. I will get back to the original. But not only I will do this, I will also invite another secant squared x to help me out. I like to work with two terms over this right here. And you guess we'll see why. And in fact, this is actually a pretty good strategy because you see this and that cancel. And when you just add a same copy of itself, this is going to be two secant squared x. How can I get rid of the two though? It's okay. I can just multiply by one half all the way in the front. So this is actually very, very nice, isn't it? Now, of course, we still have to write down the denominator. This is secant x plus tangent x to the 9 over 2 power. And then from here, we'll split the integral into this one over that one. And if you look at this one, it's actually going to be much easier to work with. All right, let's see. This is going to be 1 half integral, this over that. So let's just write it down real quick. And let me tell you guys that although on the top, you can factor out secant x. And then you're left with secant x plus tangent x, and you can reduce. But don't do that. <laughs> you want to be in this form. So they can just use this u sub. And this is what I mean by it's really similar to the integral of secant to the first power x. You want to have this kind of form, right? So let's continue. And that's another reason why I really want to have this term right here to help me out as well. Anyway, let's put down the 1 half, because when you break down two integrals, don't forget to distribute the one half right here, right? So we'll have the, the one half integral, and then we have this and that on the top, right? So let's let's see. This right here though is a minus. I, I cannot just use u sub like that because in order for me to use u sub, both terms have to be positive, right? Huh. So maybe I'll change the strategy right here. Now secant secant, I will actually factor out secant right here, right? Hopefully, guys, don't mind. Let me do that and see what will happen. And when I do that, I will left with secant x minus tangent x right here. And then on the bottom, of course, we will have to put down the same thing, like this. And remember the x, right? All right, so now, once I factor out the secant x, I have this. And do we have any identity for secant to the first power x minus tangent to the first power x? I don't think so. But if we have the second power here, it's much better, right? We do have an identity for that. So let me just write that down for you guys. Recall the identity that when we have secant square x minus tangent square x, this right here is actually nicely equal to 1. And of course, this right here is just a difference of two squares, namely secant x minus tangent x times secant x plus tangent x. So <laughs> let me multiply this right here 
on the top and also on the bottom so that this right here will be just a y let me do that right here secant x plus tangent x times secant x plus tangent x on the bottom right here as well and all this right here is just a nice one now i left with just a secant x on the top over this and this is actually not bad at all because this and that have the same base so of course we can just combine the power to become 11 over 2 power so that's very nice once again let's recall the way to integrate secant x to the first power we multiply the top and bottom by secant x plus tangent x isn't it all that now on the top, I'm going to have secant x. What I will do is, I will do the same thing because the base right here is so nice. Let me also multiply by another secant x plus tangent x. Secant x plus tangent x. Whew. And then, of course, at the end here, don't forget that dx, and perhaps you can make the fraction ball longer, but I don't really mind. <laughs> On the top, this times all that is exactly this right here and we can use the same exact u substitution as well so let's make that happen right here right let's make this happen here we have one half and we have the integral when we take this to be my u on the top all oh, this right here it's precisely my du so we can pretty much put this into a u world right away so we have u in the denominator, right? u to the negative 2 power in the denominator. So I'll write this down as u to the negative 9 over 2 power like this. And then, of course, as I said, we will have the du already. So this is very nice. So let me just put it down like that. And that's just a baby integral, right? And then right here, we'll just add a half integral. Same thing here. Check this out. This times this times that. We can just combine the powers. 9 over 2 plus 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2, we get 13 over 2. So in fact, it's the same thing, but just different powers for the denominator for these two integrals. And on the top, once again, secant x times all this, it's exactly that, namely my du. So altogether, I can write this down as u to the negative 13 over 2 power, and then du like that right so once again this all that is du this this that is the 13 over 2 power in the denominator brought up we get this so we're ready to finish this let's just go ahead and add one to the power negative 9 over 2 plus 2 over 2 is 7 over 2 negative so we are going to divide it by that which is going to be multiplied by negative 2 over 7 let's just put it down like this and then right here we add 1 which is going to be negative 11 over 2 so let's multiply this by negative 2 over 11 let's just multiply by that so yeah all right let's see first right here two cancels out so we have negative 1 over 7 and we get u to the negative 7 over 2 so i'll do two things i will bring that term back to the denominator and then I will change back the u to the x. So first, we'll get negative 1 over 7 on the bottom. And u to the negative 7 over 2 will be on the bottom and becomes positive power. And I'll open the parentheses with secant x plus tangent x inside. That's the u. And then raised to the positive 7 over 2 power right here. And then for this, same, same thing. This and that becomes negative, and then we have 1 over, we have 11 in the denominator times, this will be going to the denominator as well. U is that, secant x plus tangent x. And then this is going to be 11 over 2 power in the denominator. Okay, hopefully you guys will like this video. If you do, please give me a like and also check out the other videos. I think you guys will like them as well. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already and help me to recommend my channel to your friends, classmates, students. Thank you guys so much and as always,
that's it.